Hey guys, it's Victoria and I am so happy that you had time for a TCA Minute. Today we are continuing our conversation around autopilot with Laser TCA intern Alec and his pairing, TCA Henry Ramos. Today's conversation around autopilot is what autopilot looks like from the end user's perspective and I hope you guys enjoy what they have to say. Hey Alec, how are you doing? Doing great. And we're going to change the venue and flip the script a little bit and I'm going to be the one asking you questions today, is that alright? Yeah, that's perfect. How was your experience as an intern getting your laptop? Um, so I received my laptop on the first week of the internship and overall my experience was great. Um, it was very easy to get set up and get started working. All I had to do was enter my Lenovo credentials and then uh, figure out how to, how to connect to the VPN. And after I figured that step out, it was really easy to start getting productive and getting work done. Very good. If you didn't have your laptop, and you had to do stuff on your phone, how would that have been? Um, if I didn't have my laptop and I had to do my work on my phone, it would definitely be a lot more difficult and um, uh, a lot harder to keep up with my task as well as my calls. Because for example, if I were to join a Teams call on my phone, it's a lot harder to switch in between the different applications while being on the same call. Uh, when on the laptop, it's very easy to do that. Exactly. Very good. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, so I did want to know, how did IT deploy machines before autopilot and modern IT? That's a good question, Alec. Before modern IT, companies had to do it very manual, similar to like you were if you were making a gaming machine. You would manually install the operating system. You would then go to the website and download all the drivers specific for the components that you were using, and then you would download and install all the applications. And that process could take you know, two to three hours, right? Mm -hmm. Per machine. So is modern IT something that everyone uses? No, not everybody uses modern IT. Modern IT is something that um, is dependent on the company culture. If they, if they wish to still do things manually and focus more on their business, they certainly can. But it does make a, a difference in terms of the onboarding uh, for a new hire and an intern, right? Would that affect how you would be thinking in terms of when you get finished with your internship and then with uh, with school? Yeah, so um, of course uh, companies can do things manually and still uh, complete their task and achieve great things, but onboarding as a new employee, I would look forward to getting started on my work very fast, getting productive on day one, and with modern IT and things such as autopilot, I'm able to do that. And so joining any company, I would hope that they have that access to modern IT for me to have a smooth onboarding process. Very good. Victoria, back to you. Thank you so much, Henry and Alec. Really enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see the next one on what autopilot looks like from the administrator perspective. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.